I get it. Sometimes you go through these phases and I know I'm not the only one, I can't be, where you don't post and it gives you anxiety because you're not posting, because you're not showing up for your business, for your life, for whatever the case is. And it's not just Instagram, it goes for all the platforms. What do you do? Hey you guys, what's up and welcome back. I'm Jen Marilla, also known as the Social Girl Traveler. Welcome to my YouTube channel where I share all my knowledge on being an entrepreneur, blogger, and content creator. Today's topic is near and dear to my heart because I know I'm not the only one that talks about this. I know I'm not the only one that goes through this. We all go through it. And it's not just on one platform, but it's several platforms, right? It's social media anxiety. Oh, I know, say it with me. Oh. <laughs> Guys, this is a human thing, right? But the fact that a social platform, and not just one, like I said, but several platforms give us anxiety is not cool, right? It's almost kind of scary. So if this is something you're struggling with, I want you to give me a thumbs up and I want you to comment below and let me know that you're part of this, right? You're part of this world. And this is something you struggle with and that's okay because the point of this video is one, for me to give you some tips so that you stop. And two, understand that you're not alone and this things happen, right? We are gonna go over a few things today, but I wanna talk to you about my situations and what I've come across, right? I have been through phases in my Instagram world or in my life. And when I say Instagram and social media, I'm referring to LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube even, where I've just stepped back. I've felt overwhelmed, that's the first thing. And two, I was judging myself, I was worried about the likes, I was worried about the followers, I was worried if people really cared what I had to say, and I wasn't showing up. And if you follow me on social media at any of my platforms, it's one of the main things I talk about, right, is stepping out of that comfort zone and showing up, and why it's so important. And social media anxiety is a real thing, it is an actual real thing, and the fact that it is happening more and more today is even scarier and what makes it even scarier for me is you know the younger generation I want to help them overcome this I don't want this to be an issue for them I want them to know that it is just social media and the point of social media is to connect with people from all around the world and to have fun and if you're not having fun then step away from it completely step away from it. Okay, so let's get into it, and I'm gonna share with you the two main reasons why I think social media starts. One being that you're worried about the likes. Like, you post something and only 10 people like it and you're freaking out because you're thinking nobody cares and I suck and this is like the end of the world. Okay, no, not cool. <laughs> Number two reason would be you're worried about what people are thinking of you. The judgment, right? The comparing yourself. Oh my God, guys, that, that has, honestly, that for me has been one of the biggest things where you're scrolling through Instagram and you're just like running through the feed and you stop and you're like, oh my God, I should, this should be me. Like, why am I not being successful? And you just like dig yourself in this hole. Like literally it's like Jennifer in the hole with the shovel and you're just digging deeper and deeper. And it's, <laughs> ain't nobody gonna get you out, girl. It's a problem, okay? All right. so. Those have been my situations, which have led me to not post and not show up on social media and stories and just not create content because I literally stop myself and I get in my head about the whole thing. And then, and then this is the worst part, when there's been a lengthy amount of time that you haven't posted, you're like, shit, it's been a month. What do I do? Do I just like jump back into it? Well, yes, you do. You literally jump back into it. And I say that to everybody and anybody that comes to me with this specific question. If I haven't posted in a long time, how do I start again? And I always say like, this is the secret. Just post, just start posting. <laughs> Literally guys, it's not rocket science. Okay, so now that we've covered the issues and what happens, let's talk about ways to stop this and ways that I've found that have really, really, really helped me and have essentially taken my business to the next level. And if you're watching this, you clearly have a business and this is really important to you because you've stopped and social media is the vehicle that gets your community to where you wanna get them. The get them being the website or the store, the physical store that you have, right? And so I want you to, before we get into it, I want you to remember three things. Social media is meant to be fun. The creators of social media created social media for money <laughs> and because it's supposed to be fun. Two, you're supposed to be social on social media. So that means connecting with people from all around the world. It's really important. And the third thing, okay, is that social media is just the vehicle to get people where you wanna get them. Whether it's your website so they can see your services and products 
or it's a physical shop that you are getting people to if you have a restaurant or a clothing store or whatever. Okay, so let's get into it. Number one is identify the issue. What is the problem? Why are you not posting on social media? Is it because you don't have time, which is truly a valid like understanding? To be honest, there are times where I don't post on social media because I just don't have time. It takes me anywhere between, I would say 30 to 50 minutes to post an Instagram post and a Facebook and all the stuff. And so that kind of, I just don't have time. So I don't do it. Now, if you would have asked Jennifer two or three years ago, why aren't you posting on social media? I would have been like, well, cause I have nothing to talk about. And like, nobody hears what I want to have to say. And it's like this whole sad story and none of that's true. But anyways, <laughs> my point is identify the issue, dig deeper. So for me, it was the judgment, which leads me to number two, comparing yourself, right? I said to you guys before that the issues were likes and judgment and comparing yourself and all things. So the most valid way that I've found to overcome this is turning off notifications, like just disappearing from social media. And I don't mean like turning off, like deleting the apps. And you can do that. I actually think that's really important because taking detox and time off from social media is very powerful. But what I mean is like, stop looking at certain profiles, like stop following people that don't make you happy. If you're not following people that aren't inspiring you or aren't lighting you up, stop following them. You don't have to follow them. And honestly, I don't care if it's your friend, I don't care who it is. If you are not bringing value into my energetic space, get out of my way, girl, <laughs> or whatever, dude, it doesn't matter. It really, it doesn't matter. And I think that this has been a massive game changer for me. I have friends that I love to pieces, but I cannot watch their stories. So truth is I mute them and I'll tell them <laughs> like, I love you, but I can't. And I will turn around and say like, I get into my head and I start comparing myself and that's all me, right? So digging deep and being able to identify where is the issue coming from is huge. And then step two is being able to kind of step away, you know, stop comparing yourself, turn off social media, maybe take a few days to detox, maybe take a weekend, maybe take a week, go away on vacation or something, or turn off notifications, put certain accounts on mute, you know, be able to do that. That has been super helpful for me and is such a game changer. Okay, and so number three leads me to follow the people that you love and support. There are people that inspire me. One of my favorite accounts is Oprah and I love Oprah and she's my girl. And Oprah, if you're watching this one day, I just, I wanna be your friend. <laughs> I'm such a creep. Okay, so yeah, so like Oprah, I follow people that you love, that inspire you, that Jay Shetty, also somebody I admire so much. And so every time he comes up on my feet, I'm like, ooh, what's he got going on? Gary V, he has so much masculine energy. When I am feeling like I don't wanna do my work, I turn on some Gary V and he gives me the juice to like get shit going, right? So follow the accounts that inspire you that make you want to move, all right? Number four, be transparent. Now, this also leads to Instagram stories. I think Instagram stories is such a valuable tool. Instagram has become such a saturated platform that it's not so much about posting every day, but just showing up every day. And so being on stories, even if it's just for a few seconds and telling people about the salad you're making or whatever, it's just showing up, right? And I find that when you create a transparency about your life, like letting people know, and obviously there are boundaries, so make sure you have set those boundaries, but being able to be transparent with your audience is huge. Guys, if you, follow me on Instagram, you will know, and you can give me a thumbs up about this. I don't always look like this. I show up sometimes and I look like a hot mess. I look like I haven't slept, which I probably haven't. I'm tired, I'm cranky, I'm hungry, like all the things that a baby goes through. <laughs> kidding, but you know what I mean, but not kidding. <laughs> Literally is how I show up. It's not always rainbows and butterflies and unicorns, you know, and that's okay. People want that, okay? We live in a generation where people are starving for human connection in a digital space. So how do you do that? Through stories. Stories are so powerful. So, 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 so powerful. And utilizing that as a business owner is key. Number five, this is the last one, and I absolutely love this. I think it, this especially will resonate with women. We live in a generation where women don't gloat about their good stuff, right? They don't get to rant about how much money they make or the successes and blah, blah, blah. And it keeps us low. It also creates that space where whatever you put out into the universe energetically, you get back times 10, right? That's my belief. So if you're putting out that you're super grateful and thankful that you got this amazing job opportunity, people are kind of looking at you like, oh, she's just like, you know, you have to be humble. You can't talk about that. No, girl, I want to talk about it. 
we're gonna talk about it. So that's what we're gonna do. You can talk about it. Talk about your accomplishments. Promote yourself. Talk about your business. Don't be ashamed to tell people that you've accomplished X, Y, and Z. Don't be ashamed to tell people that you're happy that you feel good, that you love what you do. Don't be afraid to accomplish those things. I think that when you get to the space where you're able to do that with yourself and your audience, you're opening up the doors to allow people to also share their experiences and their happiness and all the things that are going on in their lives. Because remember, and this is something that I truly believe and you've probably seen in my other videos, you can catch one of the videos I made about um, getting out of your own way and this is one of the most important things, right? Is energetically, projecting the energy that you want in your life times 10, right? So whatever you put out, you will receive times 10. So if you're in a happy place and you're happy about your deals and your clients and what's going on in your life, and you're asking the people on social media to return that, you're gonna see results. It's gonna keep coming back to you. And lastly, I know I said number five is last, but I think this is something really important. I want you guys to walk away with this. I truly believe we live in a generation where if you are not energetically vibrating at a high space and you show up on social media with social media anxiety, it's only gonna make it worse because you're doing it out of scarcity. I believe that we live in a generation where people actually pick that up. Because we are constantly in our face, on our phones, this is so transparent or has become so transparent. So that's why when some you follow some influencers and you feel like you've known them forever, it's because we're literally being ourselves, right? And so when you show up at an energetic space where your vibration is low, people pick that up and it's kind of a turnoff for them. So why not start to be happy and gloat and talk about all your accomplishments and all the things and self-promote and talk about your business and all the things because it makes you happy. So do what makes you happy. And like I said, if you're not having fun with social media, what the heck's the point? Why are you showing up? You should have fun. That's what it's all about. All right, guys, so there you have it. I've given you some solid tips to really help you with this social media anxiety. If you feel like this all resonates with you and you've been there, you've done that, or maybe you're going through it right now, let a sister know that I'm not the only one because guys, it's a lonely road out here. I'm just kidding. Anyways, I love you guys. Until next time, you already know what's up. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Hit that bell wherever it is on your screen. And I will see you guys next time. Have a beautiful and blessed day. Mwah! Bye.